the greatest name in cereal, presents Tom Corbett, Space Cadet. Space Academy USA in the world beyond tomorrow, 2350 A.D. Here, the space cadets train for duty on distant planets. In roaring rockets, they blast through the millions of miles from Earth to far-flung stars and brave the dangers of cosmic frontiers, protecting the liberties of the planet, safeguarding the cause of universal peace in the age of the conquest of space. 30 million miles out in the blackness of space, a runaway asteroid streaks through the airless void on a collision orbit with the planet Earth. Far behind the asteroid is the rocket cruiser Polaris, crippled and unable to maneuver. And now on the main deck, Captain Strong prepares to make emergency repairs out in space. Well, we're just about all set, I guess. Astro, would you call uh, Corbett Manning, find out what's holding well, them? They're on their way down, sir. Good. Higgins. Aye, aye, sir. Did you set outside that spare tube? Yes, sir. I left it at the airlock with all the tools you need. Good. Then you stand in the, in the rocket blast chamber, and as I slide the new tube in, you hook up the interconnections. Aye, aye, sir. All right. Captain Strong, are you sure you only need two of us to help you? I mean, I'd like to go, sir. I know, Astro. <laughs> Thanks. But there's no sense in any more of us going out there. It's not a very hard job, and Corbett and Manning can hold me to the ship. I know, but, well, if you don't mind my saying so, sir, you're pretty heavy, and they might <laughs> You're forgetting your basic laws of space, Astro. There's no weight or size out there. Why, a baby can hold me up with one finger. Of course, sir. <laughs> All right. Manning and Corbett reporting, sir. Good. You boys ready to go outside? Anytime you are, sir. All the equipment ready, the extra lines and so forth? Yes, sir. I'll be stowed it outside the space lock. Good. And let's go. Steve. Yes, Joe. Take care of yourself. I'll be back. I'll be back before you know it, Joan. Don't worry. Sir. Yes. Spaceman's luck to you, sir. I'll get in touch with you by interphone. See you later. Original. Control deck, check in. Dr. Dale, this is Alfie. I, I mean, Cadet Higgins. Oh, yes, Cadet Higgins. What is it? I just wanted to tell you, ma'am. Captain Strong, Tom, and Roger are in the space lock now. They're on their way outside. Oh, very well. Thank you, Higgins. That's it. Yes, sir. Watch it. Watch it. Yes, sir. There you go. All right, Manny. Let's have those tools. All right. Come on, Manny. You're in the clear. There we go. Watch that line back there. Great joke, it. Yeah, makes you feel kind of small, doesn't it, Manning? Small? It makes you feel like... Ah, uh, what are you talking about, Junior? Come on, let's get started. All right, come on, boys, come on. Yes, sir. Hey, watch yourself, Manning! Manning, put your feet down hard and firm. Those Magno boots are the only things keeping you to the skin of the ship. Sir, how can you tell which is up and which is down out here? You can't, Corbett. Well, there's no up or down in space. So... I guess that makes it a little confusing the first time. Sure it does. Suppose one of us breaks clear. Why, you just go drifting away, off into space. All right, boys, let's get to work. Yes, sir. Now, look. There's the damaged tube. Uh-huh. You see it? Yes, sir. Now, we have to pull that one out and put the other one in. Well, how can you get down to it, sir? Well, I'll just have to swing down to it, I guess. Down, sir? <laughs> All right. Whatever direction that is. Now, look. You stay here and support me. All right. Manning, you stay on the stabilizer as anchor man. All right, sir. All right, boys. Let's go. All righty, sir. Uh -huh. 
Captain. Got it? Right, sir. Ready. All right. Five minutes. Well, it isn't an easy job. I know, but Captain Strong said he'd check in. If something happened, we'd have heard from them by now. Call Higgins and see if he's heard from the captain. All right, ma'am. Control deck to Higgins. Check in. This is Higgins. Go ahead. Has there been any news from Captain Strong, Alfie? Well, he's working on the tube, uh, Astro. The damaged one has been removed, and he's trying to fit in the new one. Right, thanks. Alfie says that... Yes, the... I heard, Astro. Well, so far, so good. So far, Astro. But there's still a long way to go. Over there. That's it. Oh, that will work. Yes, sir. Does it fit, Captain Strong? Yes, quite easily. All right. Call Higgins. Tell him to fasten up the interconnectors. Hello, Alfie. Come in. Yes, Tom. Go ahead. All right, the new tube is in place, Alfie. Secure connection. Very well. Oh, and Tom, tell Captain Strong that Dr. Dale has been calling me for word about him. She's quite worried. All right, Alfie, end transmission. Higgins is securing the connection, sir, and he says Dr. Dale has been inquiring about you. Oh, great, Jupiter. I forgot about it. Well, there's no use staying out here longer than we have to. Pull me in. I'll report personally. All right, sir. Okay. somebody other than yourself. Now untie that line. All right, all right, don't blow your chest. Boy, what are you doing? What are you doing? Captain, we're going to throw this line to you. Wait a minute. Don't use yours, you idiot. Get another one. Well, sir, there isn't time. You're drifting away. There you are, Corbett. All right. All right, sir. Now get ready. Here she comes. <laughs> ah, you missed. Oh, blast it. You can't throw a line like this. There's no weight to it. Boys, listen to me. Listen to me. Go back inside the ship. Go inside the I'll ship. I'll leave you out here, sir. Nothing doing. Go on. You're wasting time. You've got to get that asteroid. I'm sorry, sir. Captain you can Neil, log me for disobedience ship. later, but we're going to get you back inside this ship. Above. Listen, Manning. I've got an idea. Rip the connection unit out of that blown out tube. What for? Well, we can tie it to the end of this rope. That'll give me something to aim when I throw it. Okay. Come on. Tie it here, will you? Boys. Boys, listen to me, please. Please go back in the ship. There's nothing you can do. Uh, yes, there is, sir. Intercom. Hello. Hello. Hello, Steve. Steve, this is Joan. Come in. Oh. Uh, Dr. Dale, this is Corbett. Oh, yes, Cadet. Is Captain Strong on that circuit? Well, not exactly, ma'am. Uh, he's kind of got his hands full right now with tools. Oh, yes. Well, won't you be finished very soon? You've been out there awfully long. Uh, well, uh, we've got a couple of more things to do, ma'am. Don't worry. We'll be back in a few minutes. All right, but... 
But tell Captain Strong to hurry. I don't want him to take any more chances than he has. No. To. Uh, but yes, that is. In transmission. Have you got it, Manning? All right, Captain Strong. What are you going to do? I'm going to throw this rope. I've got this communicator unit attached to the end of it. It'll give me something to aim with. All right, Tom. All right. Ready, sir. I'm going to make it good, Corbett. Don't worry, I wasn't the best speedball pitcher in Space Academy for nothing. Here she goes. Come on, baby, a strike. Right across the plate. Well, what are you waiting for, Junior? Go on, throw it! Right, here goes! He's got it! Thank heaven! Well, don't just stand there! Come on, reel him in! All right, Captain Strong, hold on tight! I'm not gonna let go of this line till I get inside the ship! That's wonderful news, Higgins. Thank you. Yes, Higgins, he'll give the order in transmission. Astro. Astro, what are you doing? I'm afraid it was all no use, ma'am. We're too late. Too late? What are you talking about? The asteroid. I've been scanning for it. I can't find it anywhere. It's... it's disappeared. miss the next action-packed episode on Wednesday when Tom Corbett and the space cadets rocket through the void in a race against time to find the runaway asteroid. Tom Corbett is played by Frankie Thomas. This has been a Rock Hill production. Remember, tune in every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at this same time for the thrilling interplanetary adventures of Tom Corbett, Space Cadet. Brought to you by Kellogg's, the greatest name in cereal. This is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System.